If you're a Splinter Forge player, you don't want to miss this. Blue Goose dropped a huge update into Discord today, and we're going to talk about it. Hey everyone, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here saying thanks for dropping by. I appreciate your time. Well, Blue Goose dropped a big one on us today. A uh, big announcement was dropped into Discord, into the Splinter Forge Discord. And, uh, you know, this is not like a clickbait type article. Um, if you play Splinter Forge, if you're even, uh, if you've played it in the past, if you're remotely interested in it, you're going to want to pay attention to this. If you played uh, for a while, you've noticed that the Forge token has really, you know, it's it's not done well. Um, in I'm not a big to tokenomics guy, but uh, I think it was just um, out of control, too many produced. But with that said, I'm not going to dig too deep on that. Um, but suffice it to say that the team in charge of Splinter, Splinter Forge uh, recognized there was a problem, obviously, and started to take steps uh, as far as getting it under control. And that's what this big announcement really is about. Uh, if you if you've been playing lately, uh, you may notice as I have. I don't know. Um, I've noticed that uh, I guess a few weeks ago I, I couldn't put a date on it. Um, what I was getting out of each battle uh, significantly decreased. Right. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into that because uh, what his announcement has to say just really dovetails into that and what they're doing. Let's pull up this. Okay. So I pulled this statement out of Discord and blew it up a little bit so that we can read it. Now, I want to read it because I don't want to put any words into their mouth, and then we'll we'll talk about it a little bit, okay? Now, he titled this Embracing Progress, A Brighter Future for Splinter Forge. Exciting times are ahead as we take the next step forward in our journey. Yes, Forge inflation remains a challenge, but fear not, because we're tackling it head on with optimism and determination. Thanks to the global modifier, Forge inflation has been brought under control to a remarkable extent. Okay, let's stop there for just a minute and look at what the global modifier is. Okay, if you notice up here by the Forge token, you have a global, global modifier, and this changes. Now, let me go to here. I will leave this link to their Git book on the topic. Um, there's a, as with everything in these games, there's a math formula involved. And I'm not going to make a statement on, um, because I don't understand it 100%, but it's basically to help get the inflation of the token under control. Okay. Um, so I'll leave the link if you want to actually look at the math uh, behind. Uh, the global modifier, but I just wanted to stop there and show you where you can find it and do know that that does change. Um, so let's go ahead and go back to the statement. Okay. Yet our work is far from over. We're shaking things up with a bold move and here's the big, big announcement. Hold your breath here. Uh, bidding farewell to Forge in leaderboard rewards. That's right. The one big thing that got us a lot into it, uh, a lot of us into it, saw those end of season, not end of season, uh, end of, um, you know, after each boss was killed, get those that big set of rewards, made us want to go ahead and um, increase our uh, equipment and uh, work on our strategies and kind of try to get into that leaderboard. Well, that's going away. Um it may sound drastic, but trust me, it's a strategic masterstroke. Why, you ask? Allow me to illuminate. The truth is, there's still an excess of Ford circulating, and those leaderboard rewards are only perpetuate this reality. But here's the silver lining. By removing these rewards, we're not just stemming inflation, we're slashing it. Okay, um, I can fully understand why they're taking this step. I don't have to like it as a player, but then again... If you're making a bunch of forge and it's worth next to nothing, is it really doing you any good, right? So I think that's my thought there. Additionally, as a partial offset to this slashing of inflation, we're boosting forge rewards per battle in silver, gold, and diamond leagues by a whopping 50%. So you're losing the end of season, but you're gaining per battle. So 
this is uh, really a net plus for those people who never made it on the leader or didn't get very high on the leaderboard. You probably come out ahead. Those of us, uh, and I didn't get high. I mean, I usually in silver placed like between 20 and 30 somewhere. Once in a while, I would get lucky and get into the teens or something like that. Um, I, uh, those of us who s stayed in the top 25 generally in a league probably stand to lose. Um, but with that said, that's better than nothing, right? So each battle uh, comes up by 50%. Um, at this point in silver, I was making between five and six forge per win. Now I'm making like two to three. So that would be, that would probably raise my win to like three to four, something like that. Um, this will create a smoother distribution of forge by putting more emphasis on individual battles over bulk dumps after every boss. So what are the leaderboard rewards now? Leaderboards will now reward a combination of experience, electrum, and relic fragments, which is good. I mean, um, those all help with the, how the game's coming along and evolving. Um, if you're actually in it to play and not just, you know, kind of extract out of it, all these items are built into the game now where you're going to need them to, you know, uh, help out your character in different ways and make it through the mine and all the, these different things. So uh, at least there's still... Um, a reason to compete for the leaderboards, right? And that's not all. The shift opens up exciting opportunities like integrating Forge rewards into our upcoming hero versus hero play mode. I don't have any information on that, um, but uh, once I figure it out and uh, hear about it, I'll, I'll relay it. But in the meantime, reducing inflation means giving our market the breathing room it needs to thrive. Now I understand change can be daunting, but rest assured, this is a change for the better. It's a testament to our commitment to nurturing a healthy Splinter Forge ecosystem, something we all care about. These changes are in development and will be implemented shortly after they are ready. We will announce when the changes go live. Okay. So, I mean, I guess the TLDR of that is the end of season, or the, um, the end, I keep wanting to say end of season, but whenever a boss dies, uh, leaderboard uh, rewards are going away, but we're going to make uh, a little bit more per uh, battle. Um, you will still get leaderboard rewards as far as um, just not in Forge. You'll get be getting other items. So uh, I think we're running into this in multiple games, right, uh, on the Hive Engine. And every game handles it differently, has different burn mechanisms, uh, has different mechanisms in place to try and keep um, their tokens involved, um, under inflated and under control and to, you know, increasing in value. That's their goal, right? So that the tokens that represent their game have a good value. And uh, people are winning uh, them as, uh, and burning them as needed uh, to maintain that fine balance. And it's tough, especially when you start introducing multiple game mechanics into a game that requires uh, use of forge here and something else here and burn it here and burn cards there. It's a fine line. And, um, you know, you can put a game together and you can devise, because like I've said before, these games, these Web3 games, you know, only part of it's making a decent game. The other part of it is making sure that the economy and the tokenomics of it works and is actually strong enough to support the game. OK, so I guess this all boils down to say I I'm fine with it. I mean, uh, you've got to, you've got to make changes to try and improve. Uh, otherwise, if you just keep going down the same road and we have this overinflation of tokens, I'm interested to see how the um, the numbers that are in their git book as far as the overall what they projected as far as uh, overall forge uh, that will be put out. Um, I believe it was nine trillion. Um, how that affects that numbers, but you know as we go along, uh, we'll I'll report on that. But that's the news. What do you think? Um, I've already told you what I thought. If you like this kind of information, uh, please like and subscribe. I put out these kind of uh, videos uh, several times a week, and I do a live stream uh, on Saturday, uh, 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time, if you want to stop by. We talk about multiple Hive Engine games, uh, Splinterlands, Splinter Forge, and a number of others. So if you'd like to talk about that, stop on by on Saturday and uh, talk about what you want. With that said, this has been Bronze Dragon. I hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy, and I hope you're not getting as much as rain, of rain as we have been the last several days. We're about drowned out of here. With that said, I'll see you on the flip side.
Thank you.